Hey, welcome back, folks. I'm starting off with the Leafs game tonight. What a weekend. Three-game winning streak we're on. Starting to pull away from Tampa a little bit is what it looks like. We'll see what comes down the pike, but obviously that's the only thing that matters right now and the only thing we're actually playing for. But we're starting to put together a pattern of the depth of this forward team especially, and now starting, especially tonight, to chip in from the defensemen which is unbelievable to see because it hasn't really happened with the revolving door of defensemen this team has had this year. It's been kind of a shit show, to be honest. And if you look at their DB to go all the way down the line and see how many defensemen have actually played for this team this year, they've run into a lot of injuries and have actually come out the other side pretty unscathed and chipping in offensively, which is just scary because, I mean, if Johnny T and Nylander aren't in it tonight, all of a sudden Marner catches fire or Austin Matthews and let's not forget... Um, about the new big boy out there as well who's chipping in with Ryan O'Reilly so it's just uh, it's just mayhem with offense with this team and if their defense starts chipping in as well I mean I really thought that Sammy looked amazing tonight too that's a whole other story it's just uh, good things for the Leafs it's a good time to be a Leaf I hope you guys aren't taking it for granted uh, number two did you guys see that Lucic fight last night I mean Big boy Curtis McDermott my god what is he 6'5 230 yeah he's 28 years old and he, he's one of the big boys in the, in the league. He's one of the new big boys out there. And, man, he's goes up against Lucic. I didn't think they wanted to go. I thought they were kind of half-heartedly. The linesmen were in there MFing each other a little bit. And then all of a sudden they're like, no, get, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get free of this linesman. And they go. And big boy Milan just puts a couple down the barrel as, as Max kind of laying a half-hearted one, leaning with his chin, and boom, right down the center, it buttoned him. And pretty cool to see the old boy. I mean, he's only 35, only 34 years old, Milan Lucic, but he's been playing for 1,100 games. It seems like he's been there forever. And to see he's still got that jam was pretty awesome to watch that fight live. Finally, I mean, I'm sorry to my friends in the West. I live in the West, but this Western Conference, I mean, it... <laughs> You guys have won some cups in the last 10, 12, 15 years, I guess, but it is so weak right now compared to the East. The East is an absolute assassination of a conference right now. It is end-to-end -end better teams than in the West. If any of those teams, especially like the Maple Leafs, were in the Western Conference, they would just literally tap dance their way to the Stanley Cup Finals, and it's going to be an absolute war in the East. It's just Leafs, uh, Leafs luck that this is the way it is, and they're in that division, and uh, it's going to be a grind right to the end. But like they say, if you can't beat the best, you aren't the best. So be interesting to see how it goes. But right now, three-game winning streak. Leafs are hot. Things are good.